Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13 and this is your monthly tarot and angel card forecast for the month of December 2015, the last month of the year. Wow, sure has gone by fast. So with the monthlies, I pull five cards from the tarot card deck. Four of them represent the four weeks of the month and then the fifth is an overview. And then for the angel card, I will be pulling a card from the Archangel Michael Oracle card deck by Doreen Virtue. All right, let's see what we got going for December of 2015. Okay. So for the first week of December, we have the Magician Reversed. Watch out for people who may not know what they're doing or are abusing their power. When you have the magician reversed, it indicates someone who, maybe someone like in a, a leadership position, like maybe at your job or something, who is kind of holding themselves out to be the boss, you know, you think that they are the boss because they have a good understanding of how your company works or what they're doing, but they may not. They may just be flying by the seat of their pants or um, something like that. This is kind of like someone who's maybe fake it till you make it. So try to watch out for, for that. They're not real sure what they're doing. Alternately, this could be someone who knows exactly what they're doing, but what they're doing isn't cool. So keeping with the work example, if it is a boss, it's the boss who is going around being a jerk because they're the boss. Well, it doesn't matter if it makes sense. You have to do what I say because I'm your boss that kind of guy. So just like watch out the first week and it doesn't have to be in your work section. That's just the example that I'm using. If you encounter someone who is a potential partner or you know someone you're dating starts to act like this, run. <laughs> run away super fast. Um, but keep your eyes out for someone like this. Also check yourself. Make sure this isn't you. You don't want to be that guy. I mean, you don't want that person to be acting that way towards you, so don't act that way towards other people. So keep your eyes open for someone this first week of December who might come into your life who acts like that, and make sure that you are not the one acting that way. For the second week of December, we have the Two of Wands upright. This is an agreement being upheld and that agreement is going to garner you great returns in the future. So I'm not sure why like job examples just keep coming up to me but um, if you are, have a contract with someone and you think that maybe they're going to pull out of that contract don't worry about it. They're gonna do what they're saying and it's going to be good for for both of you. Um, I also had the example just come into my mind, so someone might have this going on, of like a house. Like if you're having, I know that's just real specific, but it, I'm sure someone needs to hear this, otherwise I wouldn't have that come to me. Um, if you have hired someone to work on a house, something about real estate, or if you're um, house hunting, don't fret about it. Everyone's going to do what they're supposed to do, and it's all going to work out to your favor. Um, so if you've got something going on with real estate during the month of December, everything's going to be all right. Don't, don't worry about it. Everyone's going to do what they're supposed to be doing. All parties are going to benefit from this transaction. It's going to promise you good stuff, you know, whether that's financial or whether that's, you know, getting a house or getting a good price on a house or... Um, getting a promotion, you know, whatever you've got going on this second week, whatever agreement 
that you've got in the works during the month of December and specifically the second week, don't worry about whether it's going to fall through because it will be upheld and it'll work out just like it's supposed to. For the third week, we have judgment reversed. This is self-sabotage through inaction. So it's December, we've got Christmas coming up, we've got holidays, you know, whatever you, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate societally, there's Christmas, there's Hanukkahs and corresponding days off that go with it with your job. Um, this is like, don't let your work slack because this is the third week. So it is right before Christmas. That's just the one I'm going to use because that's like the big holiday and big holiday in the Northern hemisphere up here in the U S. Um, so that's just the one that I'm going to go with for ease. Um, but with this being the third week, it puts it right before Christmas. You could get in that like mindset of, I'm going to have time off and I don't really want to be here and it's the end of the year and Christmas and New Year's and I'm just going to blow off my work or, you know, like don't do that because as I said, sabotage through inaction. If you let things slip, if you start to be a little lazy, then this is not like forgetting to do something. This is not like a normal mistake. This is more like blowing it off because you're excited about the holidays or something along those lines. It's not getting sick. It's not the things, the normal things. Um, it's really just like laziness. It's like wanting the holidays to be here. And so because of that, you kind of just put things on the back burner. I'll work on that. So yeah, it's the third week in December. I'll work on that in January. It can wait another week. Don't do that. Sabotage through inaction. Someone's watching you. Um, a boss, not to make y'all sound, you know, make y'all paranoid, but, you know, people are going to notice that, it, that you're doing that. So if you start to do things like that, if you don't act, you're only hurting yourself. So just keep doing what you need to do, um, whether you want to or not. <laughs> we all got to be responsible. Let's do what we need to do because we have to do it and we know we have to do it. So... Judgment card reversed, third week. Don't don't self self sabotage. Do what you gotta do. Don't be lazy. It's all right. The fourth week, we've got the four of pentacles reversed. This is a week to open up, release some fear, let go, take some risks. I don't know if um, again. Christmas week, if you've got some family stuff going on and if you're getting together with family or not, but if you have kind of a not so great relationship with some of your family members, this is the time to start to heal that. Heal, let go, release things. The reason we, one of the main reasons, we hold on to things and identify so much with them is just because pain, is because we are used to it. You know, we want to hold on to grudges with family members. People go years without talking to their parents or siblings or whatever, and they forget what the original fight was about. So why are you holding on to it? I mean, what are you afraid of with releasing it? Like, what scares you about releasing it? Only good things come from releasing bad stuff. Um, you can't live in a fear-based mentality. You need to let things go. You need to take risks because you think you might be hurting the other person and you're not. You're only hurting yourself. You're only holding yourself back. So this fourth week, open up. Let people and things in. Release whatever it is that you are afraid of happening and, you know, Take that risk, decide to just jump, decide to just jump in. Okay, you know what, let's resolve this. Just do it. I know that's way easier said than done, but I promise it will only result in good things if you can let stuff go. 
your overall card overview for December is the lovers upright. Now, yes, this could be romantic relationships, and with the holidays, it's a good time to feel that love energy between friends and family and your loved ones, and it's a good time to feel that. But this is also about uh, partnerships and commitments. And, I mean, that's what we've been talking about these prior weeks, is um, agreements being upheld in week two, self-sabotage. That is you keeping your half of a deal, not being lazy because you need to keep your half of a bargain. So partnerships and commitments are going to be heightened. Win-win situations are going to be heightened. It's going to be a good overall month. Just make sure to mind this Four of Pentacles. If you can open up and let go and release that fear and take some risks, then you're going to reap the benefit of all this other stuff going on during this month. Win-win situations and agreements and, you know, don't let this guy, don't let that guy bother you too much that first week. Just, it just looks like it's going to be that first week and then come into the rest of the month and you've got other stuff going on. I don't even see that bothering you that much, you know. Some, some person will come into your life and you'll see that and you'll be like, I ain't got time for you. And you'll just move on. As I said, make sure it's not you. Make sure you're not the one acting that way. And then all this other good stuff for the rest of the month. So what an awesome December. It's going to be, it's going to be an amazing end of the year. It's going to be an amazing end of the year. All right. Now, I have already pre-shuffled these angel cards, and I'm going to spread them out. Let's see what we've got for December, right here, December 2015. Focus upon divine and perfect health. Here's the card. I'll read you the prayer on the bottom. God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. So, keep your eye out on your health this month, all of you. It is the winter, so, you know, you're likely to get sick. It could be just a simple cold. It could be, you know, flu or something that hangs on a little bit longer. Sniffles that hang on for a little bit longer than they should. Just focus on your health. And you can do that by keeping your energy clean and light. And I, by clean, I don't mean like physically clean, although, you know, that too, living in a dirty space can get you ill. But I mean energetically clean. If you release stress and anxiety and fear and doubt and all those negative things that just like in your mind, if you release all that, that's the stuff that makes you sick. That is the energetic clearing that I'm talking about. So focus on assisting your physical good health by doing that energetic clearing, by making sure you're not bogged down with negative, unhealthy, mental stuff because that will tax you physically. Focus upon divine and perfect health. It's going to be an awesome month. What a way to end the year. This has been a, a wonderful, crazy, amazing year. And it looks like it's going to be an awesome, awesome month. I will have a little more towards the middle of December. I will have a yearly come up that will do a card for each month. Just one card for each month for all of 2016 and that will be in addition to your normal January monthlies so keep an eye out for that special it's everything we got this month so thank you for watching thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing to my YouTube page if you want to get a personal reading with me the only way to do so is through my website which is GaiaTarot13.com be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, where I will always pull a daily tarot and angel card reading the energy for that specific day. So if you want to know what's up, check me out on there. 
Thanks for watching. You have an amazing month.